I'll give you 30 seconds to answer this one. I still want to know, is plan B the alternative when it comes to somebody who is pregnant from rape or incest? Well, it depends on what you mean by alternative. An alternative, obviously, uh, is uh, to uh, do what we can to assist and aid uh, the victim, uh, and that is to help get them medical assistance that they need uh, and the care that they need, but also uh, to know what their options are. They're going to uh, to know that uh, the, the state, uh, through our alternatives to abortion program, provides living assistance, baby supplies, all kinds of things that can help them. Also, we've increased funding for prenatal prena okay. and postpartum care. Thank you, Governor. Governor Greg Abbott said it in a word salad kind of way, but he admits it. Quote, our alternatives to abortion program provides living assistance, baby supplies, all kinds of things that can help them. Pregnant women, that is. Also, we've increased funding for prenatal and postpartum care. This is what progressives and, well, liberals have been saying for decades now. If you want to decrease abortions, you provide access to education and health care, provide IUDs and other forms of birth control. This is not only based in facts as evidenced by studies, but this is being lived out in European countries. So to the people who may say that these things will come at a cost to the state, in this case, Texas, so does enforcing one of the most, if not the most, restrictive and oppressive anti-abortion laws in the country. Making criminals out of those having abortions and putting them in prison isn't free. The statement that I opened with came about during the Texas gubernatorial debate between incumbent Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican, and Beto O'Rourke, a Democrat, which occurred this past weekend. Now, you should know that this took place in front of an empty performing arts complex. There was no crowd. There weren't any voters in the audience for that debate in a theater that seats a thousand people. Tristan Snell said that families of the Uvalde victims arrived at the venue and are not being allowed in. Now, I highlighted what Governor Abbott said, but it's just as important to note what he didn't say. He's still going to force people to give birth. He did not answer the question about Plan B specifically, and I'm not sure of what he's going to do about Texas legislation outlawing abortion. But this week, the GOP has confused me about this issue, whether it's Dinesh D'Souza claiming the left would brush it off if Reverend Raphael Warnick paid for a woman getting an abortion, read Herschel Walker style, I guess letting us know that he forgot what being pro-abortion meant. Speaking of, Republicans are, of course, backing Herschel Walker, not condemning him to fine or imprisonment. I'm sure it has to do with the statute of limitations running out or loopholes in newly established Georgia law, whatever that is. Not contradictions, right? What I'm about to say is in no means a contradiction or a compromise of a principle. And... Please keep in mind that I am concerned about one thing and one thing only at this point. So I don't care if Herschel Walker paid to abort endangered baby eagles. I want control of the Senate. That was Dana Loesch saying, quote, what I'm about to say is in no means a contradiction or a compromise in principle before proceeding to contradict herself and compromise her principles because the party's at stake, not the parent of the child or whatever. Amen. This is the fight of his yes. life, holy yes. God. Yes. Amen. And we call forth your ministering angels yes. and, yes. 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 and we ask you to rebuke yes. the devil. Yes. 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 Satan will not get the victory. Yes. Yes. And we know whatever the results of this election, Herschel wins. Yes. 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 Because we are more than conquerors yes. than him who yes. loved us. Yes. And so we thank you that we can support our fellow conqueror, yes. our yes. brother, yes. our friend. We all know about October surprises in the month leading up to the midterm, and sometimes they're effective, but oftentimes they're really not. But the GOP really is seeing its chances at a Senate seat in Georgia absolutely disappear before our eyes. After Herschel Walker's son, Christian Walker, a right-wing influencer I've covered, came out and basically said that his dad was a liar, a cheater, an abuser. Family values people, he has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? And I guess this is the strategy now, a prayer circle. And we ask you to rebuke the devil. Amen. 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 Satan will not get the victory. No, 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 no. And we know. By Satan, do they mean Walker's son? 
It's wild that Walker's been caught in outright lie after lie after lie after lie after lie, and yet he's literally here being cradled largely by white supporters. The optics here are insane. Religion, race, politics. The story has it all and is nothing short of a bombshell. It shows how complicit the religious right is in supporting the very ideals they claim not to stand for. I talk a lot about the rise of Christian nationalism and how it's completely divorced from many of the most important lessons of Christianity. And this Herschel Walker story is exactly why. Your opinion on where do you stand when it comes to abortion as something that's a very hot topic? Well, topic you know, I, I am about. a Christian and I stand for life. Mm -hmm. I stand for life and, and, and I, don't, I don't make any excuses about it. I stand for life. And people always say you got any exceptions. And I say, you know, um, because anyone that has been a, a victim of crime, you know, my heart goes out to them. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is I want to put money and adopt them programs. Right? I'm not exactly sure when this interview is from, but I think it's interesting because it signals to me that he knows something is rumbling. Carves out time to say that his heart goes out to people who are seeking abortions and then pivots to the importance of adoption. The world as we know it is rapidly changing in a post row world with purple states like Florida, Pennsylvania, and Georgia at the center of these ideological battlefields. But there's yet another point in this whole mess that's being largely ignored by the media, and that is the multi multiple accusations of domestic violence of Walker against his wife and children. Of course, abortion is and has been one of the most hot button issues in recent political memory, but we can't let these allegations of physical violence get swept behind in that conversation. Is it just so common amongst politicians that we don't care? I would say that the glossing over that violence is devastating for women and an indictment of the standards we hold politicians to. How are we elevating these people who have credible threats of abuse against them in into positions of service? And how do these people elevating abusers call themselves Christian? These are questions, sadly, we will never get to the bottom of. The fundamental rights of women are at stake in this election, but not just when it comes to abortion. It's also about standing up against physical violence.